Hello, everyone. Welcome to Talking Logistics. It's Adrian Gonzalez, uh, and it's just going to be uh, me today on this Monday morning, March 23rd, 2020. Now, usually on Monday mornings, I am busy writing a post for Talking Logistics about some emerging trend or topic in the world of supply chain and logistics. And, uh, well, as has been the case for the past month or so, the top item in the world of supply chain logistics is the top item that's happening all around the world, which is the impact that the novel corona coronavirus and COVID-19 is having on, on all aspects uh, of our lives. Um, certainly on the health front and the impact that's having on the number of cases and number of people that are getting sick and unfortunately dying from it. Um, and then obviously on the supply chain and economic front, um, as we've seen uh, numerous businesses closing, uh, people getting laid off, uh, the stock market uh, going down and, and so forth. Um, so it's very difficult with everything happening uh, around us and the fact that many of us are working from home and there's no school and we're practicing uh, social distancing or um, my preferred term is you know, physical distancing, um, you know, to kind of pretend that it's business as usual. And so this Monday morning, I was having a hard time uh, really focusing on you know, what to write um, that wasn't coronavirus related um, because to be honest, uh, we're getting so much um, on so many different fronts around coronavirus, not only what's happening in supply chain, but you know, like I said, everything around us. So I, I, today I'm kind of taking a little bit of a mental break. Um, and, and those of you that you know, have been tuning into Talking Logistics, you kind of noticed the, the bookshelf uh, behind me. So this weekend I was kind of looking through some of the books that I have there to kind of find a new book to read or an old book to reread again. And uh, I came across this book, which, uh, many of you probably are familiar with. All I really need to know, I learned in kindergarten. So if you've never read this book, or if you read it many, many years ago, like I had, uh, this might be a good book to read today, uh, or in these times, if you're looking for kind of a mental break. So I'm just going to read the back cover uh, for those of you that um, have never read it, or uh, would like to get reminded about some of the, the key messages from it. So it says, most of what I really need to know about how to live and what to do, and how to B, I learned in kindergarten. Wisdom was not at the top of the graduate school mountain, but there in the sand pile of Sunday school. These are the things I learned. Share everything. Play fair. Don't hit people. Put things back where you found them. Clean up your own mess. Don't take things that aren't yours. Say you're sorry when you hurt somebody. Wash your hands before you eat. Flush, warm cookies and cold milk are good for you. Live a balanced life. Learn some and think some and draw and paint and sing and dance and play and work every day some. Take a nap every afternoon. I think I like that one. When you go out into the world, watch out for traffic, hold hands and stick together. Be aware of wonder. Well, that's my thoughts for today. Uh, I, I hope you're all uh, well and staying safe and keeping sane in these times and look forward to um, you know, connecting with all of you later in the week. And I know that by working together, by sticking together, uh, we'll all be able to reach better days, uh, hopefully sooner rather than later. Thank you.